when you guys have a night that starts that hot, but you're able to continue it into the second half, I mean, how does that feel to not have it ever really cool down like you have? Uh, I feel like that feels good, you know. <clears throat> At halftime, all we talked about, you know, not letting up, you know, keep our foot on the gas, and I feel like that's what we did in the second half. Just how fun was that? I mean, the start especially, I mean, you guys were getting everything. So what's it like playing in a big game like that? This is phenomenal. I mean, <laughs> you shoot up any shot. Like the one I hit on the, the shot clock buzzer, I almost like a prayer, and it goes in, and <laughs> you just got to get back and worry about the next play. Did you guys feel that, you know, maybe not to this extent, but a game like this was coming? I mean, After CU, I was like, we better have one of these games. <laughs> but, yeah. Adam saw you draw that charge there to basically ejaculate the drill you guys were running on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. so did you get some props from the coaching staff for that one? Uh, yeah, I, I, my, I hit my head, so I was kind of like, <laughs> what was going on for a second? I thought he called a block, but, yeah, they, uh, they dapped me up for that one. Absolutely, and like you said, in the, we've been doing a lot of drills that uh, require a lot of help side defense and playing down a man, you know, four on three, three on two, and <clears throat> always having the next person step up and be able to stop that drive right in, right in the middle. You guys have struggled getting off to hot starts this season, where tonight, obviously, you were hitting everything right out of the gate. Just how much do you think that hot start helped you guys? Uh, I feel like it helped, <clears throat> it helped us a lot. Like you said, uh, lately in games, you know, we get go off on a slow start. I feel like today, you know, we just got it going and, you know, we didn't let up and we just kept bringing the intensity. Adam, I think you guys like Kendall and Isaiah are tasked with distributing so often that maybe the scoring isn't always, you know, through the roof. When a night like this does happen, what does that do for guys like you, guys like Nico, and your guys as both in here today? <laughs> Makes our job a lot easier. <laughs> um, but yeah, they were, they were on a roll tonight and when they can dish and they can score at will, you know, it, Honestly, it really makes everything easier because they're so worried about him shooting and they're close and tight to him. And that just makes, you know, Nico and I's job a lot easier. When did you guys have kind of a feel that this could be a special shooting night? I mean, did you feel any different warm ups or anything, or is it until you start hitting them during the game? Uh, probably just in the game. Yeah. <laughs> First, second, three pointer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I thought it was like a, a good warm up and. We just came out and knocked him down. Are games like these even more enjoyable when it's not just one, two, or even three guys? It's everyone's hitting everything just for you guys on the bench together and everything. Yeah, I feel like them were probably one of the best games to have. You know, everybody, you know, doing their job and getting off and, you know, everybody just having fun. That's the main goal. I think, I think earlier in the year, sometimes you guys would let leads kind of die. But now you're really starting to stretch them out instead of just letting them die. I mean, what does that say about the maturity of the team? I think we're, uh, you know, finally evolving and playing our best basketball right at the right time. Um, obviously, we didn't play perfect tonight. We still got some things to work on, but we're going to keep taking the, the right steps in the right directions. It's a little bit relieving in some sense to have a shooting performance like this. Like, all season, you guys have basically been like, they're good shots, they hit them in practice, they're going to fall. It just hadn't happened, and then you finally have that game where they just fall. That's, that's exactly it. It's not like we were taking, you know, fadeaways or anything like we were shooting the right shots at the right times and they were going in tonight um, the starting lineup of you two David Nico and Isaiah is now three and oh so how was the chemistry between you five really feel there I feel like overall <clears throat> our chemistry has built you know very good uh, in practice you know coach is good with you know mixing up the lineups so everybody know each other you know strengths and weaknesses but I feel like us five overall you know we have, you know, I just feel like everybody in general on the team, you know, we just have each other backs. And, you know, when your name is called, you just got to step up. Well, this was kind of a statement game for all of you, it felt like. So, um, going forward, how was that statement for you? Keep giving it. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can just keep having, you know, good starts instead of having slow starts. And then, you know, as we start off good, we just, you know, keep our uh, foot on the gas, you know, keep excelling. And, I don't know, just carry over through the whole game. Is there anything you guys feel like you didn't do well or could have done better tonight? Mm, mm. Probably turnovers a little bit. I think, yeah. Got a little sloppy with turnovers. that. Turnovers. Yeah. That one I had. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. That's why I shoot and don't dribble. Trust me, I had, <laughs> a, bad, I had a bad one myself. But, yeah, I think yeah. just the turnovers, um, maybe a little towards that end there, it got a little sloppy. But other than that, I thought it was a really solid game for us.
You know, obviously great performance by our guys. There's not a lot to uh, to complain about here tonight. Um, guys came out and um, really focused. Um, I felt like it was just a matter of time before we were going to make shots. I thought we'd been shooting the ball well in practice. And um, guys did a great job of moving the ball and getting open shots. I thought we had a nice edge defensively. Um, and boy, you know, we just came out and we never looked back. And you don't get many of those um, uh, in any game, but especially a conference game against a really good team like New Mexico. And so... Again, what a great effort by our guys. Um, again, the only thing I would complain about is I thought some of the sloppy turnovers at the end, which I'm a coach, so I don't I don't like that. Um, but boy, what a great performance by our guys, and one that we'll enjoy at least until uh, early tomorrow morning. Coach, when we talked at halftime, you said we want to treat this game like a zero-zero game, even with that lead. To see you guys increase that lead in the second half, I mean, how good does that feel? Like? No, I think that's great. I, I mean, you know what we've been trying to do with this group is just. F- win the moment, you know, live in the moment, whatever it is, and just focus on what's the next play, what's the next thing. We try to do that in practice. And, I mean, that was the mantra at halftime. It wasn't all the timeouts. It's like it's not about the score. You know, here's some things we're doing well. Here's how we can improve. we got to come out here in the first four minutes and stay focused. And, um, you know, I thought our transition defense could have been better at times. Um, Again, some sloppy turnovers, some sloppy execution. But I thought our guys stayed with it. They kept competing, and everybody who came in the game I thought brought us something. Thought it was good. I mean, they, they were really – they're a team that likes to run a lot of isolations. They're going to pound the ball in the post. They're going to drive it. I thought we stepped up. Adam took a big charge early in the game. I think we took uh, uh, Lyle at eight turnovers tonight. I think three of those were offensive fouls that we took on the ball. Uh, um, maybe one of them was off the ball. I think he ran o- ran over us. And that our guys did a great job of being connected, um, trying to keep the ball where we wanted it, and then bringing early help. I mean, they're a talented team. They're big and they're physical, and they can really, really hurt you in the lane. But I thought for the most part in the half court, um, our defense was pretty solid. I thought, you know, they had some live ball turnovers that, you know, they got out in transition. But for the most part, I was pretty pleased with how we defended. Slow starts have been an issue for this team frequently this year. We're obviously tonight. You guys Not tonight, huh? You're hitting everything right out of the gate. Just how much do you think that impacted the tone? Oh, it's huge. I mean, it gives you it gives you confidence. And um, again, I thought we moved the ball. That, that we knew they were going to press us, and I thought we did a beautiful job of spacing it and skipping it against the press. And they left us open. Kendall knocked down those two threes, and I think we made our first four. Um, and they got out of the press quickly, and um, you know we kind of had them on their heels. And so I thought that was great to see. And hey, w- when shots goes in, everything's easier, right? You know that way. And um, you're not always going to make that many shots, but I thought they were all good shots. You know, I thought they were with 27 assists tonight. Obviously. You get a lot more assists when shots go in. Um, but a lot of guys got involved, and I thought they were all good looks, you know, and, and uh, that was fun to see. That's what we do every day. It's all about if the right guys are taking good shots. I mean, I see them every day in practice, you know, and there's guys that, 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 that can do it. And we've got to keep keep believing and keep focusing and stay aggressive. And that's what we want to do. You know, you, what you hope is we're a team that we got to get a lot better that we can continue to evolve on that end of the floor. And if we got more guys making shots with our ability, you know, to attack in the interior and throw it inside and get to the free throw line, um, that opens up a lot of things for us. And, and clearly that paid off here today. You know, I, it's college basketball, right? You know, you you, you j- j- just look around the country. What is it? Three weeks ago, another level, like, you know, everybody's crowning Ohio State, and then what do they do? They lose four in a row, you know? And I think the key is is you just got to stay, like I said, stay in the moment, stay focused, enjoy this one tonight. That's a heck of a win, a great performance by our team. But we got our hands full going into Clune on Saturday. And once we wake up tomorrow, this one's over, and we got to refocus ourselves. Um, I think, what, they beat Utah State at home. They just beat Boise tonight, I believe. I saw the score. They're going to be loaded for Bear. We need to be loaded for Bear. And so um, I think anytime you want to build confidence and believe in yourself, but, boy, you better not get too high on your horse, and you better continue to do the things that have gotten you, uh, gotten you where you are right now. I, I, 
I, I hope so. I think, you know, like we talked about earlier in the year, I thought we were a little bit of a work in progress offensively, and a lot of that is just kind of figuring out roles, who can do what, who can score where. We've pared down, you know, some of the stuff that we're doing, tried to simplify it. I think that that's helped us. Um, we've thrown the ball inside to David even more, and, you know, he's been really a huge force for us, putting him in the lineup that way. So I think we've really simplified things, and that's helped us. But we're still a work in progress, but I agree. I think guys are getting more and more comfortable in their roles, where we can get shots, and anytime you get that continuity of playing together more, I think that helps you. Coming in, I think Kendall, you know, his scoring probably wasn't the first thing on an opponent's, you know, scouting report. For him to break out like this, what does that do for the rest of the team? Well, you know, you, you say that. I, I think we're a balanced team, but I think coming into this game, he was shooting over 40% from three. Um, I mean, he's a guy that's proved now that he's worked really hard at his shot and he's proved if you're going to leave him open, he, he, he can knock it down. And he did, you know? And so, um, I think the stats, uh, um, have proved that. And so he's making shots and, and when he's doing that, it, you know, creates a lot of space for us. But the big thing with Kendall is, you know, nobody p- kid plays his tail off. Nobody plays harder in our program every day in practice, every day in the games in Kendall Moore. And he might be the smallest guy on the court, but that kid's got a huge heart, man. And he competes. I mean, he is a he is a championship competitor. And um, he's got tremendous belief in himself. And um, he's a huge piece of what we're doing. And heck, we put him on Jaquan Lyle, you know, early in the game, who's got him by what, you know, Kendall might be mad at this, but what, seven inches? And I don't know how many pounds. Kendall weighs 140 pounds on a good day. Um, um, but you know that kid, he's just never going to back down, and so he's continuing to get better for us. That the excuse me, the the alley oop between PJ and John, and then shortly after the contested and one from PJ, those are some of the two loudest moments in Novi tonight. How special is that for the team right now? I think it's awesome. You know, I thought it was great to, it's always great when everybody can come in and contribute. You know, these guys work hard every day in practice and for those guys to come in and contribute. Um, I think it's great. And, you know, I, I hope I'm starting to sense a little bit of buzz, you know, in Moby and, and people enjoying watching this group play. And, um, you know, we're going to get our students back next week. Um, I believe this is a team worth coming in and cheering for and following. I'm starting to feel a little bit of a buzz. And, you know, we had the crowd on our feet a couple of times. And um, you've seen this place, you know, when we really get this, get this thing going and, and we're playing well, this is a tough place to play. And so, um, but I thought it was really neat for all these guys to get in there and contribute and have some fun. I mean, they're, they're, you know, they've connected from day one. We got a lot of new players from last year. I thought they've really connected early, uh, both on and off the court. I never talked to them about being young or about being freshmen or any of that um, because once you do that, you just build in an excuse not to perform. They've clearly all proven they can perform at this level. And, and so, um, yeah, I'm excited about the future, but I'm excited about practice tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to try to be good. Um, right now I want to try to compete and get the most out of these guys and so we never talk about being young or anything like that we talk about going out and getting the job done and clearly all these guys whether they're freshmen juniors se- you know seniors well, I don't think we have a junior do we uh, um, and, and they're proven that they can get the job done and so that's awesome and, and they're, they're starting to grow into a team that way and I think they really pull for each other thank you mm-hmm.